George Dawson was an inspirational figure in the history of Birmingham. He was a Baptist preacher originally, who then developed a vision of the city which inspired the likes of Joseph Chamberlain to transform Birmingham in the latter half of the 19th century. He was one of the pioneering figures behind the civic gospel, this calling, a mission to transform the lives of Birmingham's inhabitants and the beauty and space of the city. He took the ideas of patriotism, of love of country, which were very prevalent on the European continent in the mid-19th century, and he transferred that idea to the city. So it was an idea of civic patriotism, of love of city as an expression of identity, and that sense of civic pride, of the meaning of the city, what it meant to be a citizen of Birmingham. What he had the ability to do was take some lofty ideals that people like John Ruskin and Thomas Carlyle were extolling and make it understandable to working people and the congregations in his chapels. So he was this great translator of ideas. He was a great mobiliser of talent and energy in the history of Birmingham. What we see as a result of George Dawson's work is a new generation of business people, philanthropists, activists, going into local authority leadership and thinking that taking on the role of public service in a city is a really valuable and important use of their time. And thanks to them, we get the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery, we get the Free Reference Library, we get the Chamberlain Design Schools, we get so much of the civic infrastructure of Birmingham, partly because of that vision which Dawson inspired. I think it's so important that we remember George Dawson today in an era when there's so much to divide us, ethnicity, religion, sexuality, culture, all of these individual identities. Dawson told us to raise our heights, think about what unites us, come together to work for a better future for a city and inspire the next generation of civic leaders.